So if you guys didn't know, Putin is trying to invade Ukraine and is not doing so good. Here are how many sanctions have already been done on him by March 11th. And he has shown Russian, the Russian government as terrorists for killing over 300 innocent people. Now, Hillary Clinton says we should be punishing the Russian people. Police detained more than 4,300 people across Russia on Sunday at protests against President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Here's the video of her saying that. Because that is a possible way out. If the Ukrainians, with our help, uh, can impose enough economic pain on uh, Putin and, sadly, the Russian people, uh, combined with providing weapons, that that might be the only way that right now I can see us getting to a stalemate uh, that might save the Ukrainian people from even greater uh, tragedy. This is actually considered a war crime. A Geneva Conventions, Article 33, it says collective punishment is prohibited. I agree that we should be punishing Putin. I agree that we should sue him, throw him in jail, prison, etc., etc. But we should not be punishing the Russian people. In Article 33 of the Fourth Convention, it says, No protected person may be punished for an action he or she has not personally committed. Now, that is the definition of collective punishment. Speaking of collective punishment, 660 sanctions were put on Iraq by the United Nations Security Council Resolution. These sanctions affected the produce of medicine and many, many other things that you need to use to survive. Using the information from nearly 40,000 Iraqi government field workers, nearly 500,000 children lost their lives in a result of these sanctions. And these sort of sanctions are the sanctions that Hillary Clinton wants to put on Russia. I completely disagree with her and I wish the best to the Russian people and Ukrainian people.